Wyoming is actually one of the greatest places in the world to look at the last 65 million years of Earth's history. My name is Ellen Carano and I'm a paleobotanist. Plants are a perfect organism to look at how living things respond to changes on Earth's surface. I study fossil plants, look at them from different points in Earth's history, and see how plant life has changed. What I am really interested in are warm times during Earth's history. And so 50 million years ago, we had palm trees in Wyoming. It wasn't the sagebrush and alpine forests that we see today. It was more like, say, Florida. These plant fossils give us insight into where our planet is heading. So CO2 levels are steadily rising. We're probably interested in how is climate gonna change, and not just temperature, but how is, is moisture gonna change? How is rainfall gonna change? And I think we're already seeing some of those changes. So really what's happening today is you can think of Earth as being a time machine, and we're going back to what the conditions were like 50 million years ago. And so I go around to different parts of Wyoming that have fossils of these ages and look at what vegetation was like then. Last summer, an undergraduate and I were up in the Bighorn Basin outside of Powell, and we found this amazing site that is from a very abrupt interval of global warming that represents 100,000 years, 54 million years ago. And so we're looking at what, what plants were like before that interval, then now we have these plants from during the interval, and then we'll compare them with what came afterwards as well. Finding that little layer that represents 100,000 years is really tough to do. I'm super interested in making connections with people all over the state who might have plant fossils on their properties and who would be interested in having me and my students come out and learn more about Wyoming's plant history.